Hey there, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a check-in for you if you are any placement of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or if you resonate with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy air sign. This is for you. Do check the other elements. This is timeless, and you will have other elements in your chart. You might resonate with different element energies as well. Aquarius. Four of Wands. Some of you, your home might be the focus. Ten of Pentacles, beautiful energy. Like, I feel for some of you, what I'm getting channeled separately. Wheel of Fortune. You're going to be celebrating a big sort of foundation success. The wheel is turning in your favour. If you've had money finances on your mind or your family, there's a turn in the opportunities here. There's a turn. But I also get, like, you're not a pharmacist or a chemist, but you know what's going to get a negative reaction of you, uh, out of you. So stay away from people and situations that might trigger. Trigger you, trigger your ego, uh, trigger a fight within you, inner strength. It's taken inner strength to get to where you are. The crackling is the candle, by the way. And probably spirit confirming. You've really been trying to nurture this new chapter, this new version of you, whatever it is. And it's all coming in for you. There is a success here. The inner strength and with what I've just channeled, as well as your energy, the Queen of Swords, I feel is telling me, you're not meant to be in survival mode right now, okay? You're, you're actually meant to be in sort of an open channel to receive the clarity and you'll get these cards. You know, some of you could be attending a wedding or a celebration, hosting, you know, a celebration at home with family. I'm getting even long distance family that might travel across. I'm not sure what that could be. Actually, it could be around Christmas, could be New Year's, a big event, Um you just really needed right now to be in a space of comfort and relaxation. And with the Wheel of Fortune, we've got, we've had this in the um, Earth and Fire sign placements as well. It keeps coming out. There's definitely something in the energies about hidden tactics, manipulation. To be honest with you, in the December reading energies, even though you might see this later, go to that because there's that kind of energy hanging on around. Um, the Ten of Cups is here as well. Beautiful card. Explore your interests and learn about more about what does, does and what doesn't work for you. How have you been adjusting to recent changes in your life? The Queen of Cups, have you been emotionally grounded and able to really understand your emotions? Um Some of you might have felt like, you know, some chapter recently is not what you'd expected, but it's all part of the plan. It's all part of your journey. And I can tell you, you need some reassurance. It's going to be a battle. It's been a battle for you. You know, you've been really trying to focus and I can see the star card, Aquarius healing card. But you don't have to fight no more. You don't have to. Seven of Swords, Inner Strength, Six of Swords, where, you know, you felt like I always just need to move away. Um, I've been trying to fight something. This is you don't have to move away. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is coming towards you and things are changing. Or well, can you relax a little bit? Aries energy here. Some of you might have Aries energy in your chart, but... Relax around things around your stability. And that new chapter is coming in for you with the world card. It's interesting. The energies seem to be um, very much similar um, with each element right now. So I do think the astrology is actually making an impact, um, which is, you know, it's good to catch up on all the readings I do so that you understand the astrology as well as the monthlies as well. So... Let's see here what we've got for you. Now, I'm, I'm, 
I want you to think of a yes or no question. And think of two questions. If you've only got one question, then one question, listen to the first answer. Now, I, I'm not going to use the cards to do this because I've got an answer for each question channeled to me. So pause if you haven't thought of the question. The first answer to your first question is a yes. The second answer to the second question is a yes. So you've got a double yes there. Okay. Um, so do take how that resonates. But, you know, there's something about you not feeling like you're defeated. Um, if you're asking about something like that, and don't be thinking of self-sabotaging ways or deception or, you know, being intimidated there's some messages around that for you uh gemini libra aquarius so i hope you enjoyed this check-in reading if you did i invite you to like and subscribe and i will see you in your next readings take care and bye for now